Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. Hey, everyone. Get ready to see the new Windows 7 beta. I'm also going to show you some Windows Mobile and some Windows Live, because it's these three parts of Windows together that create that life without walls that Steve talked about. Together, they help you streamline the things you do often. They help you manage your scattered digital content, and they help you move gracefully between the PC, web, and phone. So let's take a look at my desktop. Does this scattered desktop look at all familiar to anybody? We know that the typical user has between 5 and 15 windows open at a time. So with Windows 7, we make it easier to move between them on the taskbar. I have two Internet Explorer windows open right now, each with multiple tabs. And I can use Windows 7 Preview to move between those sites. And then I can select sites or close sites right from here. It's quick and easy. When I want to clear the clutter, watch this. Look down in the lower right corner of the screen. I can hover my mouse over that corner and peek through my documents to the desktop. And then I can click to go there. So these are the kinds of intuitive navigational elements where Windows 7 helps you move around your PC quicker and easier. We also know that users like to compare two documents or sites. I know I do it a lot when I'm comparison shopping online. So let's go shopping. We're going to look at a Nikon camera. And I've got two different windows here I want to compare. So I want the camera because it works great with Windows 7 right out of the box. I want to look at these two, the specs on these two. It becomes really easy. Snap one to the right half, snap the other to the left half, and now they're both in focus for you. Oh, I know. Now something you do a lot is so much easier. Now, I pin applications I use a lot to the taskbar. You can see I use a lot of applications, but I want the ones I use often to be right there for me. I'm going to pin Windows Media Player. Now it shows up even if it's not running, and I can open it in just one click. So easy access to my favorite things saves me clicks. Taskbar is great for launching programs, but a little thing we call jump lists help you jump straight to a specific place within an application. So with my one right click, I get the jump list for Windows Media Player, and it gives me recent songs I've listened to. The jump list for Word gives me recent documents I've been working on. And jump list for Messenger, common things that I do at Messenger. So no more hunting around for the things I was just using or just doing. Two clicks, and I'm at it again. So you've just seen five very simple features, but they're great examples of how Windows 7 makes it easy to move between the things on your desktop, saving you time and making it easier to do what you want when you want to. Let's look at something and an example of where Windows 7 actually takes a complex task and makes that a lot easier. We know that 50% of US households have more than one PC. Now, I know a lot of the people in this room have probably been home networking your PC for years, but you probably had to set up a home network for your parents and your friends and your neighbors, too. <laughs> because for most consumers, setting up a home network is way too complicated. But in Windows 7, there's a feature called Home Group, and it sets up a home network very easily. So I set up a home network, and it didn't take me a whole Saturday to do it. In three steps and two minutes, I was accessing my other PCs and devices. So now, when I take my work laptop home to work late into the evening on very important stuff, did you hear that, Steve? Um, now I have access to my other home devices. I can, my husband has the best music on his PC, so I can navigate to his PC just like it's my own hard drive and pick some music. We'll find something that's a little rocking for tonight, just to keep you guys interested. And then I can either play that music on my PC, or with Play 2, I can send it to the Xbox in the living room. <laughs> Very cool. So notice I could also send my husband some music on the Roku in his office. There are a lot of partners that are already set up great to work with Home Group. So now with Home Group, I can access the things I need when I need them across my PCs and devices. 
So let's switch over to this touch screen so I can show you how we're making a big investment in touch with Windows 7. Notice how some of the same tasks I was just doing with a mouse can also easily be done with touch. We built touch into the DNA of Windows 7 so that it's easy for our partners to create great touch-enabled applications. Here's one example of a cool multi-touch application. It's called Surface Globe. With a single touch movement, I can turn the globe, but I can use multi-touch to zoom in on a particular location. So I'm going to zoom in even further until we get to Manhattan and look a little closer at Midtown. Now, as we get closer and the buildings start to come into view, it becomes really interesting to then use another motion to tilt the globe so I can actually see the sides of those buildings. And I could move through Midtown Manhattan now from a street level. So we're really excited about touch with Windows 7 because we know that when we make it easier for our partners to build great touch-enabled applications, consumers get more ways to interact with their Windows PCs. There is so much more in Windows 7 I could show you, but I'm running out of time. So I encourage you to visit the Microsoft booth on the floor at CES. You can see more Windows 7, and you can play with our touch machines yourself. So life without walls, as Steve talked about it, means that you should be able to connect with the people and the stuff that's important to you, whether you're on your PC or on your Windows mobile phone. The new Internet Explorer will hit new Windows mobile phones this year. With it, I can not only find my favorite YouTube video, but I can also watch it because Flash is built right in. So now I have anywhere access to such video classics as Hamster on a Piano or Cat Flushing Toilet. And I can also do some slightly more productive tasks like check in for a flight or buy movie tickets or do banking transactions right on the mobile browser. Let's switch to this Samsung Omnia. I can show you how Windows makes it easy to both create great content and share it on the web. This, cam or this phone has a five megapixel camera in it that also takes great panoramic shots. So notice how as I move the camera, as I turn, it leads me to where I should point the camera with that little yellow box, and then it takes the picture for me, and then it stitches it together really quickly. That's great. I could also adjust or crop the, the picture right on the phone, but you guys look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and post it up to Windows Live so I can share it online. And now everybody who couldn't get a ticket to this keynote can feel like they're in the room. <laughs> so I just did some cool things on my phone, but because my phone runs Windows, it was so easy to share that content online. And that's the key. Let's put the fun devices aside, and let's look at your life on the web. Windows Live brings Windows online, and the experience gets even better when I use Internet Explorer 8 as my browser. So Windows Live is about communicating and sharing, and you may have already used it to send emails, to IM with friends, or to post photos on a space. But we heard a lot of users talk about being overloaded by the time they spend going to multiple places online just to keep in touch with one set of friends and family. So with our newest release, we've made Windows Live into a place that also brings social updates on the web to you. Let's take a look. A good place to start is at home.live.com. Here you can see I have a lot of different content. I have access to my email, I have some headlines, but my favorite part of this page is the What's New feed because it gives me updates on what my contacts are doing right here. And I noticed that my colleague Chris, who is on his way down to CES, has changed his status message to this very intriguing phrase in what looks like Russian. Now, here's a way that Internet Explorer 8 makes it easy for me to figure out what my friends are doing. I highlighted the phrase. I get this accelerator box right next to it. If I click the accelerator box, I get some options for things to do with that text. I'm going to translate it using Windows Live. And I'm guessing that it's Russian, so we'll go ahead and change the language to see. <laughs> I'm going to change it to Russian to English. And I find out that it means what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I hope so. <laughs> so 
Notice that accelerators give me an inline menu for things that I commonly want to do with content in any web page. So let's get back to Windows Live. In my What's New feed, I can also see that my sisters posted our holiday photos. So I'm going to throw caution to the wind and click through to the photo album. Now you can see that here's the photos. And with one additional click, I can actually put them into this beautiful silver light slideshow where the background changes to match the composition of each photo, which makes it a lot more fun to look at these and to show them off to people. So the What's New feed has tipped me off to the things my contacts are already doing at Windows Live. But the What's New feed also tells me what my contacts are doing online. Notice the variety of updates in this feed from places like Twitter, Flickr, Yelp. We have over 50 partner sites today, and the list is still growing. So you can get all of your favorite sites updates right here in one What's New feed. And as Steve mentioned, our newest partner is Facebook. So pretty soon, when you post a new status message at Facebook or you share photos there, they'll show up in the Windows Live What's New feed. It truly brings all of your social updates together in one place. So from this homepage, we make it easy to click through and drill down on the services you use the most. So I'm going to take a look at Hotmail because I want to show you how we're making email just a little bit more social. I have an email from my other colleague, Lon. He's here at CES, and he wants to know where we're going for dinner tonight. So everything I've showed you on Windows Live so far, you can do today. But since we're at CES, I want to show you one feature that's coming soon. Now, Lon wants to know where we're going to dinner, and I already made a reservation at Nobu. So I'm going to have to open up another browser window, go to Live Search, enter in the restaurant name, get to the site, find the address, copy the address, come back to the email, and paste it in. Right? That's how it works. Hard to believe, but I think we found a better way. So I'll reply to Lon. And notice we get this quick ad pane over on the right here. I go to restaurant search. Oops. Requires that I can spell. I type in Nobu Las Vegas, and I get the address right here. Then one more click on insert, and it's into the email. Yeah. <laughs> So Quick Ad is coming soon, and it brings the content that you want into the conversations you're already having. Let's send this off to Lon and take a look back at what Windows Live, what you can do at Windows Live today. So this is the confirmation page for Lon, and you can see that I get updates on Lon right here. These are the top updates on Lon from my What's New feed. So we're not only bringing partner sites into the What's New feed, we're taking that feed and putting it into all of the services that you use the most. So it's in Hotmail, it's in Messenger, it's on the home page, and it's on your phone via Windows Live for Windows Mobile. So now I can truly keep up no matter where I am. So we've looked at quite a bit of things, quite a lot of things here, but because Windows Live is about communicating and sharing, I can't leave the stage without showing you one more thing. It's my favorite new feature in Messenger. So I'm going to chat with my husband just to tell him how things are going here in Las Vegas. And you can see that I've recorded a video user tile, which is kind of fun because it, it just shows my buddies a little bit more of my personality. But my husband knows that I'm a woman of many moods. So a little feature called dynamic display picture helps me communicate those moods even better. I'm going to put in a happy face to show Scott that things are going well. And notice my user tile changed to match the emoticon. I'm kind of sad he's not here, so I'll give him a sad face. And I want to keep things interesting, so I'll give him a little wink. <laughs> and my moods don't have to be static. So to send you guys off right, I'm going to send Scott and all of you a little bit of love. I give you kissy lips. <laughs> Lots of fun, yeah. <laughs> so that makes the communicate part of communicate and share so much fun. Now, everything I've shown you, all of that is Windows. It's about making the everyday things easier with Windows 7. It's about browsing the web faster with IE8. It's the anywhere access that Windows Mobile gives you. And it's about bringing more of your digital life together in one place on Windows Live. It's life without walls.
Kissy lips and have a great time in Las Vegas. <laughs>